I'm currently driving the latest Dyna e-power from Massif Akusab. The Dyna e-power is a continuous shifting transmission on all the range of use thanks to the dual clutch technology. This is the reason why we don't have a green segment on the MFV display. When I arrive in the field, I switch from preset 2 to preset 1 using the switch on the multipad. I can set my field presets. I can set my starting speed pressing the switch on the armrest, then using the scroll wheel to adjust the speed. I can set the distinct reverse speed pressing one more time on the switch to select reverse speed. So I'm just started at my starting speed at 3.7 kph and I can modify, thanks to my scroll wheel on my multipad, the maximum speed of the tractor. And I'm just selected the cross one, thanks to the switch on my multipad, and I can modify it directly with my scroll wheel on my multipad. And thanks to the C2 switch on my multipad directly, I can select it my cruise number 2. I can also do the settings through the Tata 25 in the transmission page. Forward and reverse speeds, acceleration and deceleration sensitivity, cruise speeds C1, C2 and max spin. To increase the tractor speed, you can push the multipad or use the throttle pedal. You will see the blue line moving, which is your requested speed. And you will see that the tractors will manage by itself the engine speed, the gear ratio, to get the maximum performance with the best fuel efficiency without jerking. And if I want to just decrease my speed, I will just pull my lever. Now I will pull at full notch my multipad and I will reach my starting speed again. Going back at the farm, I change from preset 1 to preset 2 to find different settings. I can increase max speed up to 50 kph and when I push the multipad full notch, I will engage max speed. On the move, I can also increase my max speed using the scroll wheel. I hope all these videos have been useful for you. Now just try and enjoy driving your new MF8S and see you soon in the next video.